this thing slices, it dices, it chops, it slops, it, it does all kinds of things. Covered in mammoth tusk. A little bit of celery. Hey, it's me, yo! And today we are gonna make our very own wheel of time on this, the Joseph Fowler Maker YouTube channel. Okay, guys. I just finished reading the books, and I gotta tell you, they were some banging fire books. Audible all the way, guys, sponsor me. The show, right around the bend. So today, I'm gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to make the Wheel of Time. So let's get right into it. Bam! You put white here, red there. I've never screwed into a hula hoop before. This is not easy. Okay guys, it is done. The wheel of time, it is all finished. We did it. It is art. The expression of the clock face. I got a call coming in, give me a sec. Hey Zach. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm filming. Yeah, 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 I, I got my video done. Well, I took a hula hoop, and I, yeah, hula hoop. Yeah, why are you laughing? What, what do you mean a metaphor? You mean there's no literal wheel of time? Okay, yeah, bye, bye bye. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> oh. Okay, intro take two. Hi guys, my name's Joseph Fowler, and this is Joseph Fowler Maker YouTube channel. Today on Joseph Fowler Maker, the YouTube channel, we are going to be making a Wheel of Time sword. As seen in this promotional image, we are going to make one, not full-sized, but for an action figure. So stick with me guys, we're gonna get into it now. You want to come here too? Come here. You can be on camera too. Yeah, that's your big belly boy. Okay. Bam! That's my impression of whiplash. So we are going to take some play sand and we are going to take some plaster Paris and we are going to add those two together, make a mortar, and one of these will act as the main body of our forge, which we are going to use this very, very cheap caulking to go inside. We have to find a way to suspend it so that we have about an inch at the bottom. Otherwise, there's no point in insulating this thing. It's gonna be, the heat will all go right out the back. Um, we're also gonna be using this half inch pipe nipple that fits on the end of my blowtorch. So the blowtorch will sit inside, sit there and heat the entire inside up. step is going to be cutting this out and then filling that with some form of the mortar. Let's see here. Plaster of Paris. Got a giant mess. This is probably like way too much. We will add some water and then we're going to mix it. Why did I buy 50 pounds? Ugh. So I'm gonna see, we're gonna get this 
mold it in here. So that is packed in there. Make sure that you are like ready to hustle because this stuff is like going crazy. I screwed this up. If your mixture is getting too clumpy and it's drying out on you, you, you hit that point, it's done. Don't add more water to it. I did and this hole inside of this forge is like nasty. It is not dry. It doesn't want to stay. This time I think I'm going to mix it with a stick uh, and then we are going to redo this still using the caulking tube as our spacer and also don't use door stops as the legs. Who would have known? They don't work. They're terrible. So we're going to redo those as well. The cover though. Let's get going guys. Brackets. A certain consistency. Nice, there we go. Wife's holding on to that. I did think this actually this oh. is turning it free. <sighs> the Vaseline seemed to do something. There you go. Got it. Dyed it blue. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I left half the tube in there. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh well, hey. Best laid plans of mice and men. There is half a tube of caulking down inside there, guys. I have no idea how we're getting that out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See guys, this is why you guys always gotta have another plan. Hey, get out of my camera. I'm the star, not you. <laughs> You're the help. I'm the one that gives you all the good ideas. You're the help. That's all you are. <laughs> That's awful. I feel like I think I actually say stuff like that to you. Don't be whispering to the camera that he does. <laughs> I knew I wasn't even looking. Oh, my last bit of fluff. Oh, fluff. Okay, guys, so that is it. We got this thing cooking. Ooh, steam coming out of it. We're gonna let this thing sit. We're gonna let it harden a bit, and then uh, we will come back and do our first fire in it to temper it. Uh, to get all that final moisture out of there. Hey guys, my forge is, is ripping and roaring here. I'm sitting here with action figure man. He's a little excited. He wants to get a sword and we're gonna, we're gonna, by Joe, we're gonna get it for him. Well, I got my piece of steel in there heating up and we're gonna show you kind of the process we're going with. Uh, I'm using a round file as the, the basic materials and we're going to see if we can end up forging this into a katana you know that's what the wheel of time crew has decided to go with for this new rendition of the sword and that's what we're going to go with so let's get forging Now, what you really want is the line to line up right where the edge of the tip ends and the blade starts. You want those two lines to really line up nice. 
Okay guys, so the polishing process is done. There's only one more step before heat treating, which is going to be grinding in our little heron mark. Now I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but I think I did pretty good on the dune knife. So we're gonna go for it. So if I can do that on the blade, it's a little bit not as far forward as I want. Okay guys, we got it done. Check that out. Man, look at that. I don't know if it'll focus very well. Let's see if we can get in the light. And we are going to temper the sword near my waterfall that I made. And you know, it's a Japanese sword. I think I need to come up with a haiku. Virgin blade, hardened, fire set its soul ablaze, arise, become death. This has been a quick haiku with your host, Joseph Fowler. Now, on another note, I only was able to get vegetable olive oil with canola oil in it. Now you definitely don't want to do that guys if you have a bigger sword or a knife because the smoke point is very, very low on that. Since we are not quenching a very big piece of steel, I think it should be okay. If I catch on fire, you'll know it's a cautionary tale. I'm just blow torching my hand away there. Okay. Oh, I can see that there's a little bit of a warp in it. You've got like a golden minute with this stuff, guys, where you can kind of take it and flex it a bit. Ooh. Now, what we need to do is we need to get a file on the file here and see how it went. You hear that? It's sliding right off of it. Came out so awesome, guys. I am so excited here. Let's get going. But I'm going to do the final heat treating before I take a little bit of a break, uh, which is I'm going to be using my toaster oven at 400 degrees for an hour. It is time for me to put this in the oven. See what kind of bread we can bake. Knife bread. Do you get that joke? No. <laughs> okay guys, let us see what we got. Oh, let's break my oven, why don't you? Look at that guys, that is some awesome color. Man, if only we could leave that. If we were doing an Aragon sword. Was it Brissinger? I can't remember, I loved that book series as a kid. Brissinger! Leave it in the comments if you want me to make another one of these but an Aragon sword. So, hey guys, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta take this beautiful little sword and we need to polish it up, put the golden herring on it and make all the fittings. And then Mr. Action Figure has a brand new sword. Okay guys, so the first things first, we're gonna make the guard. Now, I was thinking to myself, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make a guard that is so tiny and so intricate? So here it is. Can you guess what it is, guys? It is a button. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna take this button and we're gonna first drill a hole in the center. Then we're gonna take these needle files and we are going to go, we're going to enlarge the hole on either side. So it will fit our sword. And then we are going to sand this a little bit.
Not gonna lie, I think it looks pretty good. Oh ho ho ho. We are so close, guys. Trying to figure out. Oh! Oh, we're there! We did it! Okay guys, so I got a little piece of black walnut here. We are gonna cut a strip out of this. We're gonna leave it a little large, and then we are going to drill our hole for our handle. Once the handle hole is done, then we will cut it out and shape the handle. Nice. What do you guys think of that, huh? The pommel, I realize, it's a very dark picture, but is actually brass. So we're gonna carve in a little bit of line, we're gonna paint that with a brass paint, and then we're gonna do some other carvings, but we are gonna give this a try, and then I think by the end of the night, guys, we're gonna have a finished mini katana. Mr. Action Figure likes it. Really hope he does. Okay guys, that is it for the video. Take a look at that. I, I hate to say it guys, but I think this might be the sharpest thing I've ever made. All wet, ready and waiting. A little bit of celery. Okay guys, that was the video. We are all done. You've seen this thing sliced. You've seen this thing dice. It does everything. It is an awesome little sword. I'm so proud of this project that I got to be able to build, but I've realized something. I'm not that good at slicing and dicing. I mean, when it comes to like cooking and stuff, yeah. But with this, I'm too big for it. But there is someone who is the perfect size, you know, right, right here. So when I was a kid, I was always watching those action figure commercials where the kids are like, busting through walls, you know, and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and it's like the coolest thing ever. And then you get the toy that doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make, on our next video, which is part two of the Wheel of Time, we are going to make a real turbo chop action figure. This thing is gonna slice and dice veggies like you've never seen before. <laughs> like you've never seen. It is gonna be epic. And I am too old to use that word. Yes, epic. Epic win, bro. It's gonna be awesome. So tune in next time. We're gonna make this thing just destroy vegetables. You thought Fruit Ninja was a massacre. It's gonna be bad with a capital B. Thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoy making these videos. I'm glad you guys are liking them. I think you're liking them. Hope you're liking them. 
Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like it. Huh? See you guys next time. Thanks.